Hello everyone, Runos here, and welcome back to Enola, where we're going to keep going with the adventure we have now, and, uh... I don't know, man, this is some crazy shit we got going here. Yeah, it's all just... It's just mannequins, they're all mannequins, which is creepy as... Shit, is that a throne of some sort? And it's very quiet after that belt. Oh no, there's more people the more close you go up to. Okay, you know what? Yolo bitches! There's some... What the hell? Oh, it's like a mannequin. It's like... Everything is mannequins in this place. Everything is mannequins. And that is one creepy motherfucker. Okay, hello! Well, can I go in there? Don't want to move no matter how hard I push. It needs a key. Okay. What is that a picture of? It looks like a lever, a woman standing on her knees, or it looks like a tank with a flag on it, or a penis. Lots of opportunities there. <laughs> so, <laughs> this door lock. I can't open it. Okay. What is this? Is this a TV? No, it's a... A woman with a stone face... She is always distant, always turning her back to those who love her. She is so cold, she never even cared for her own little princess, always alone, always crying for help. The Iron Guardian always stood between them, protecting his angel. She shouldn't cry, he is always there to protect her. Poor Ice Lady, little she knows that ice can break too. I can see on the far side, on the stairs, broken, dead. What? What? Yeah, but I want to open it. What? What? I I I don't I don't I don't, I, uh? I don't understand. No, oh no no no. What? What? I am very confused here now. Okay, so like, gotta find a sequence that matches. Okay, a woman with a stone face, she's always distant, always turning it back to those who love her. Do I like have to, I don't know what I have to do. Do I have to like find things? So I gotta like search every single thing here. If this ends up being the case, I will be a little bit surprised. I, I don't... It's just basically dancing women. I am very confused here right now. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, let's think now. An iron lady, very distant. Is there something about you? You want me to give you something. You want me to give you something? What do you want me to give you? I don't have anything for you. I... I don't know. What's... Uh, what's... What's over here though? Oh, I forgot to read the letter. I come looking for him and his infinite glory. I sit to his right. For with his right hand he measures my deeds. Not in first line. Because that's where the hypocrites belong. Not on the back, because I may not see you. A few are behind me, some to my right, but no one in front of me can obscure your glory. I don't come empty-handed. I give you everything that I am. Okay, okay, so I come looking for him and his infinite glory. I sit to his right for his right hand he message my deeds. Okay, so he sits to the right of him. Not in the first line because that's where hypocrites belong. That's a bit of a bold statement. Not on the back because I may not see you, okay? A few are behind me, some to my right, but no one in front of me can obscure your... Well, it should be might, but... Uh, there though, but uh, your glory... I mean, sorry, I'm, I'm, my, my poetic mind just went into gear. I was like, um, not on the back because I may not see you. A few behind me, some to my right, but no one in front of me can obscure your might. It sounds better, right? Okay, so I'm not gonna... Uh, okay, sorry, back to it. Okay, uh, I don't come empty-handed. I give you everything that I am. Okay, so to the right, not in front of... 
Oh, right. She doesn't come empty-handed. Everyone... Okay, so... She's not in, all in the back, but... She, uh, she's not all in the back, but not all to the right. There are people to the right of her. Oh, there it is. There you are. The key is old and rusty. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. So, do you want this key? No. Can I put it in here? No, I need a green key probably for that. Oh, right, I gotta put a key in here though, I suppose. Yes! Okay, so I gotta... Oh, no, there's a... The ground is dirty? I don't know. Seems like a very odd place. I hope this game doesn't have any, like, running segments we gotta run from someone. Because I think this game seems to be doing a very good as it is. It doesn't really need a running segment. Okay, say though. I look dashing, don't you guys think? I'm not sure. I know we all have a purpose. So I have to ask, what's my purpose? Is there a reason why I was born like this? Why I was born so weak? Sometimes I still hate myself. Oh, this was she body. born without a right arm? I had a dream the other day. I was a little kid. And the other kids would get scared when looking at me. Older kids would simply laugh. And that made me feel so bad. I wanted to run away and hide for all eternity. Then, when I was hiding and crying, I heard a man's voice telling me I was special and that I was meant to do great things. And then I woke up. I knew it was a dream. I knew it was a dream, but it felt so real. I am confused, woman. What the hell? Saw something over there. Ah, oh, just a mannequin or something. This place is freaking huge. Okay, so, I mean, something bad has happened to her. We have established that, I suppose, but at this point. And, but I don't know why, what's up with all these mannequins? What's up with all this steampunk-inspired stuff? It doesn't make sense. I don't understand. What is all the point of this? What is the meaning of this? What is the purpose? What is the message? And what the hell? Oh. Well, this is... Different. Trees and mushrooms and stuff. Okay, what's the... Oh, damn. The Spirit of Angelica. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Spirit of Angelica. I finally dared to hold her hand yesterday. I really like to spend a day with her. It's like my life makes sense again. I'm lucky I found her. I can't wait to kiss her. I get very confused with this game, man. It's, it's just... Is this... No, it's just a statue. It doesn't seem to fulfill any purpose. Uh, anything over here? Can I go in here and check what's over here? What? Duh! This game went from, went from charming and creepy but sad to... What the shit? Can I like crouch underneath these things? Well, I gotta find out one way or another. Yep, that's the way to get out under the these things, so, uh... Fair enough. But what's the point of them? I have no idea. I don't want to figure out, I don't want to find out, and... Looks like that door is... There's an angel on the door. I can't, the door's locked, I can't fix it. Okay. What's the point? The, wait, the angel is... There should be a statue there, but the angel is on the door. There's something down here on the floor. Oh. Fuck. What was that? Oh, I hate voices. I hate voices like that. Uh. What the f- Oh! Okay. Okay then. Uh, there should be something down here. Anything down here? 
Anything worth noticing over here that I can pick up? No. Okay. Oh my god. Why are you following me? Why are you even here? Are you here because you love her? Does that even exist? Shut I up! You. That love you think you feel is not real. Her love for you is not real. How do you know that? I mean, uh, hatred can obscure things and... I, I don't know, I don't know. But... I mean, uh, the, the, the whole point of this is that I, I think uh, my character... I can't remember a name. Uh, but I think that we're trying to get to Angelica or like persuade her in her dreams or like some somewhere else or in this fantasy that... I don't know, that I still, like, my the character still loves her because, you know, they were girlfriends from what I could tell and Angelica had experienced a lot of shit before she met her and then she started to try to support her but it wasn't enough. I'm not too sure actually, I am not too sure actually what this is all about. Um, well, that's just charming, isn't it? That looks like... Uh, Blood. A whole lot of it. Well. Yep. That's... Oh! Fuck. The fuck is that? That is a character. That is a person. And the point of this, I have no idea what the point of going down here was. Yeah. Don't understand the point of going down here. Just made my clothes wet. Yep. Just a person in there. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Nothing that we want to see. Uh, let's go down here. Looks like a morgue. Oh, that's very sad. Oh, these these things are gonna jump out of me, isn't it? Character there. Character there. There's lots of guns there. I don't know if that's supposed to signify something. I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't turn into a puzzle later where I gotta fix things. Uh, this looks like. Some sort of preaching chamber. Perfection. Oh no, did that guy just like... <sighs> I know this is kind of like... Uh, I don't know if this counts as social suicide now, but... I've watched videos of a guy called Anision, and I watched a guy called Mr. Repsion. And I got a little bit of perspective of this, because what he did basically is that he was very... He, he married one of his YouTube, like, his YouTube fans, if from what I understood, and he set very, very demanding standards for her. He is, like, in his 30s, I think she was, like, 18 or 19 or something, and he wanted her to, like, had a certain weight, he wanted her to eat this kind of food, he didn't want to do this and and that, and it was just pure hell, and never try to shape the one you, at least if you think you love, into... Something that they are not. I mean, if you don't like them for who you are, for, for who them, for who they are when you meet them, and what's the point uh, of getting together with them in the first place? I mean, if you're only there because you like their physical traits, I don't see the point of being together with someone unless you can actually sit down and have a talk, a discussion. The spirit of Angelica. When Astrid, when Astrid, learned what they did to me, I could see different emotions on her face, but the most notable emotion was anger. She called them monsters, and then she said she would make sure nothing happened to me ever again. That's a very bold claim. She said she would be my protector and that I could always count on her. That is the day she put on the mask to show others the pain they had caused me. That was the last time I saw her face. Now that I think about it, she looks a lot like my mother. Only her hair color is different. My mother had golden hair, like mine. Astrid hair is black. Oh no. Don't tell me people that she knew was dragged into all of this as well. That is horrible. I mean... Oh, that's a piece of ha Oh, no, what the hell? No, what's, what's going on? What the hell? Did I drink that? What the hell? Why did I drink? I didn't mean to drink... I didn't mean to drink... Welcome to my game. Oh, you are creepy. Welcome to my world. I don't know, what the hell? Now, you'll see everything through my Wait, eyes. Wait, does this mean I'm gonna be raped now? Okay, what the hell? What the 
hell just happened? As a token of your devotion, offer a sacrifice. Clean and pure. The fuck? Okay, I'm gonna get back to the uh, uh, music box because this is shit is getting seriously intense here. Oh, now the thing down in the blood place is gonna like come to life, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so the church normal, gonna save her now. And uh, I'm gonna end this video here now. And hopefully by the time this video comes out, I will soon then be back up into Trollland because I think I've made, uh, this is quite a lot of videos now made for Enola. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing it as I get up because I uh, put everything in a queue now. So uh, everything is now just made after another, like in the course of two days. Uh, so this game has turned out to be more than I could actually ever expect from this kind of like horror game is that it is creepy, it is frightening, it causes fear in you, but at the same time it, it makes you think, it, it makes you ponder about like uh, how anger and fear can lead you to do things that you regret that you would not normally do. I mean, I don't know what I would have done if I'd suddenly figured out that my brother or my mother or someone I really loved and cared about, some of my best friends would have been hurt by someone. I don't know how I would have reacted. Um, I mean, the, the most logical thing I can think of is, you know, I would have restrained myself to a certain extent at least because I ha would have had other people to like like dude calm down and stuff like that because I hope at least that I would have been able to see that okay I I can't let anger overtake me it's almost like jealous I mean anger is a good thing it's a good thing that you can feel anger it's a good thing that you can vent your anger but never go beyond words because if you go beyond words then you need to do some serious things in your life to fix it, at least that's my opinion on it. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna end this video here now. So uh, if you have kept watching this video with me, thank you guys for watching this. If you liked this video, press that like button, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.